By the way, don't you have Midua's secret in safekeeping? What will you do with them? Don't you plan to use them anymore? If I am to use them, this isn't the right time. Listen, now that you mention that, there's something I must ask you. Where are you presently keeping those files? Ah, uh, most of them are taken by the bank, but I did make sure to keep some of your personal stuff. Then, where are all my flash disks? Since I know you like to save your files on flash disks, I went to your home to retrieve them. Except, two of them are gone. I couldn't find them anywhere. Which ones? The one with info on Midua's surgery, and the other contains evidence of Lin Ziliang's crimes. Lin Ziliang came to me, asking for help to cover up his crimes. So I'm not surprised that flash disk was lost. But the one on me, Mei Li, as well? Why that one? There must be something that I don't know about. Well, Monsieur, the other man might have something to do with this. On the day you were attacked, Lin Ziliang wasn't the only man there. Who is it? Midua's close friend, Lei Yiming. Lei Yiming? Mr. Xiao? There's news from the hospital. Ms. Yechi's test results have been released. Uh, tell me. Because of the injury inflicted to her head, a blood clot formed during her recovery, which is what caused her memory loss. However, it appears that the blood clot is gradually dissolving, so it's possible that she'll eventually recover her memory. Do you mean that she's going to remember everything? Likely, but the doctor says that some psychological factors might get in the way of that. That's why he recommends that she undergo psychotherapy. Okay, contact the hospital and tell them to spare no expense. Get their best psychologists on it. Right. Mr. Xiao, once Miss Xie gets better, you'll be able to relax, even just a little. What is it? Mm. Your injury's healed, and there's a good chance that your memory will return eventually. What's wrong? How come you don't seem so happy? I'm happy. But once I regain my memory, you won't take care of me the way you are now, right? Uh, why do you think that? In the last five years, I did bad things. Things that were meant to harm you. Once I regain my memory, I'll turn into that nasty woman again. And you'll try your best to avoid me. Like I told you, the past is in the past. I don't care about that. And Midua? Does she agree? She's her girlfriend now, after all. She only cares about me. Because I've been seriously injured, doesn't she? I wanted to talk to you about that. Yet she... Once you recover, you should go and live your life. What do you mean? Do you want me to stay away? Yet you please understand. You should walk away from the last five years and move on from your memory of us. I've found my own love. You will too, eventually. I don't want that to happen. All I want is a life with you. If you force me to leave you, I'll just go back to Tangwei. And he'll torture me like he used to. You still? You can remember the past? I only remember parts of it. In my dreams, I can see him beating me. Is this because of something Miduo said? If she doesn't approve of you spending time with me, we can talk it through. It's not about me to Well, what's the reason then? Is it because I always cause trouble for you? I... I promise I'll stop being an inconvenience to you! It's because you are a good woman. And you deserve a far better life. I admit that I'm selfish. I don't want you between Miduo and me. But it was Miduo who showed me what life could be. Yechi, I don't want you to have regrets like I do. Whether you were happy or not doesn't matter. 
It's become a part of who you are. I don't want you to lose yourself because of me. Listen, your life shouldn't revolve entirely around me. Do you understand? I understand. Once I regain my memory, you let me go forever. Of course. You know, the hospital has decided to advance your treatment to amidal therapy. Amidal therapy? Monsieur, please lie down. So, are you ready? I am. Okay. Here. Hold on. Will I recall everything once I complete the entire treatment? Right now we can't be sure, but it's likely. We'll have to see. Ah, oh, Mr. Xiao promised us he'll be with you until the end of the therapy. No matter what happens, he will be watching over you the whole time. <laughs> see? Relax. We can begin. Okay. Will she remember everything by the time the doctor is done with hypnosis? I don't know, Midoa, but I want her to, just as much as you do, I'm sure. That way, we can finally stop playing roles. Yes, we won't have to play roles. Just like a long time ago. Can you promise me one thing? <laughs> of course. No matter what she says when she's back to her old self. Please don't let go of my hand. I want to hold your hand the whole time, okay? Okay. Monsieur, try to remember. Focus on the images forming before you. <sighs> I should really stop worrying about her. But I just can't help myself. What if Yachi recovered already? What if she has exposed Fatty and Xiaoliang decided to break up with her? <sighs> no way. I'm Fatty's closest friend. If she breaks up with Xiaoliang, I would be the first to know. And if she doesn't tell me, it'd be Xiaoliang running to me for advice, since we've become pretty close. What if Yechi's memories are permanently lost? Maybe Fatty and Xiaoyang are truly destined to be together.
Take it I easy. won't ask for anything. I'll do anything. Don't force me to leave. You need to wake up don't now, Miss Don't take me. It's time don't to wake up, Miss You have don't to wake up now. Me. Wake up. <sighs> Jolam, please, don't make me do this anymore. Promise me that you won't make me go back again. I don't want to lose you again. news about Ye Chi. She underwent therapy. And her memories? I don't have the full story yet, but I heard her treatment won't continue since she's still unstable. And Miduo? Any news on her? No. I knew it. Miduo got soft and she's jeopardized our entire plan. I do have some good news for you. I heard that, despite her memory loss, Ye Chi has recovered physically. That means you no longer have to worry. What does her recovery have to do with me? Why do you call that good news? Did you forget? She only got injured because you pushed her by accident. Since she's recovered, you don't owe her anything anymore. Even if I did push her by accident, I've already paid a steep price for doing that. Siwen, next time you have news, make sure it's worth hearing. Anyway, you said she's healed, but only on the surface. She's still missing her memories, then. The doctor said that she's suffering psychological problems. Her body has recovered, but her mind has not. <laughs> Don't you think Yet Chi's just full of antics? Are you saying that Yet Chi... Who was that? Who called? Just telemarketers. Hmm. Oh, I'll visit Yechi. I'm still worried. I want to know what she's up to. Monsieur, did you feel any discomfort during the therapy? I switched out the drugs I was supposed to take. Why would I feel any discomfort? However, Xiaoliang left me right after. <laughs> Do you think he suspects anything? How could he? He knows that your love for him is real. So he's probably just guilty. Anyway, this time, I know he won't let you go so easily. But that's far from enough. I have to win Xiaoliang back again. Win him back? Do you mean you'll drive Miduo away again? 
Quite the opposite. I won't drive her away. I'll become close to her and all of her friends. But why? After so long, Miduo was able to replace me. She succeeded where every other woman fell short. I need to know how she did it, so I can beat her at her own game. Mm, you mean you're going to... Only when I become someone like her will Xiaoliang pay attention to me again. Why are you here? Well, if you can meet with your underlings, why can't you meet with your former partner as well? You saw my secretary? Oh? It seems to me like you've got your memory back. My secretary has explained everything that happened before I woke up. You used me. You put my company in danger with your dirty tricks. You've got some nerve coming here. You really don't have a sense of shame, do you? At first, I didn't actually believe that you lost your memories of the recent past. But now I see that I was mistaken, because the old Ye Chi wasn't as naive as the woman I'm talking to right now. Shame? We were using each other from the start. Who wins or loses is down to skill and luck. So why should I feel shame in front of you? I used to dislike you, but I was being too generous. It seems that you're not just Xiaoliang's inferior. You must be an embarrassment to your family. I came here to talk about you and me. Don't mention my family. Why not? You don't like it? I can't help it. In everyone's eyes, you're just a bastard in the shadows. Seiyan. <sighs> Thanks for agreeing to see me. Hopefully for the last time. What's wrong? Tell me. I quit my job. But why would you quit your job? Because I want to have a better future. I want to work in a new place. So I... I'll probably leave Shanghai. 
If I leave the city, then maybe things will be better. Good for you. If you run into any trouble, let me know. I'm willing to help. <laughs> what trouble would that be? I'll be fine. You don't need to worry about me. Your coffee. I did. It seems you were correct. She still hasn't regained her memories. She's obsessed with Xiaoyang, fortunately. If she wants Xiaoyang, what about Ni Duo? <sighs> Since when did you care about Ni Duo? I was just thinking out loud. I'll get you some water. Hmm. It's obvious that he cares about you. I wish you happiness. bothering to pick me up after work. It's my pleasure, Yechi. But next time, will you please give me a call first? I get uneasy whenever I have a guest in my home. Hmm. But today, I waited for you because there's something I wanted to ask you. You and me duo seem to have a disagreement earlier at the hospital. Are you two all right? It's nothing. You were always this way. You always lock your words in your heart and hide the key. Women want one thing. We want an explanation. If you can give her that, she'll forgive you. Good advice. So you want me to fix things with Miduo? Of course. We can never go back to how we were before. So, as a good friend, I don't want you to, to be in pain. I actually made up my mind a while ago, during therapy. Since we can't go back to how things were, I'll find another way to show my love. Xiaoyang, would you let me stay in your life as an ordinary friend? Of course. Really? <clears throat> well, as just a friend, let me give you an interview. <laughs> what do you love about me, Duo? <sighs> Um, maybe it's that she was pure and innocent. She was new, 
and she would do all these funny little things. I could tell she was different. Really? Too much. Are you okay? Siouan, can you stop ignoring me? I'll get you some water. Don't go. I feel terrible. I do. I've always been so insecure. I want you to get me all your love, just me. Siouan, don't ignore me. If you don't stop ignoring me, I'm going to feel awful. I'm going to be so sad. It's all my fault, okay? Ziliang, I am so happy that you're telling me this. I won't contact him. Ever. But you have to promise me that you'll stop doing things that I don't like. I promise. If you don't like what I'm doing, I'll stop it right away. She says when she's back to her old self, please don't let go of my hand. I want to hold your hand the whole time. Okay. Don't make me leave! <gasps> Jolene, please! Don't make me do this anymore! Promise me that you won't make me go back again! <laughs> don't worry. It's okay, Yechi. We're done for now. to talk. <sighs> Yechi told me that I never say what I think, even now. That's why she broke up with me. I don't want any more regrets. That's why I need to tell you this. Why are you suddenly saying these things? <sighs> Miruo. Today in the hospital, I only hugged Yechi because she was distressed. I am just her ex, so there's no way I can promise her anything. And after you told me not to let go of your hand, I did so to hug Yechi. I'm really sorry. You shouldn't. I understand. Your feelings for Yechi are like my feelings for Lei Ming. We can only hope that they'll be happy. Today she cried and called out your name. I'm not angry with her for wanting you to be with her. I was like her, not too long ago. I loved you the same way she does now, so I think I know just how she feels. Xiaoliang, because you came and explained it to me, you made me very happy. If one day I let go of your hand, you should grip mine tight instead of running away. Okay? Monsieur? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't you prefer to only buy from the most famous brands? What made you come here instead to buy cheaper clothes? I want to change my style. Hey, what clothes should I wear to make me look unique and stand out in a crowd? Something to make me look pure and a little <laughs> cute. That style might not suit you very much. 
That's exactly why I want to give it a try. How else can I make myself more interesting to the people I know? Do you mean Shaoliang? Hello? A women's clothing store of all things. Hardly the right place to conduct business with a man, is it? Hi. You pervert! Oh, wait. I was just... Oh. Dr. Lei. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You said you had something to tell me, so what's up? Mm. Oh, do you feel weird about meeting me in this store? Not at all, no. I mean, it's a nice place. The clothes are really pretty, like... <laughs> uh, but you... <laughs> uh, Dr. Lei, since you're close with me, Duo, could you help me pick out a gift for her? She's been taking care of me, so I want to show her my gratitude. Oh, you think I know her well? <laughs> me, Duo, said so. You are her best friend, so I'm sure you know her. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> so, let's take a look. Okay. <sighs> Dr. Lee, what do you think? Uh, it's not the best. The white one's better. This one? <sighs> oh, does Miduo like this style of dress? I think she does. Hmm. Right, I'll take this one. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. This one, I'll take it. Would you like to get anything else? Um, I'll look okay. around. I actually, I've been meaning to ask you something. Oh, Dr. Lei, what do you think of this one? I think it suits you. This store's for women, right? Not really. This one is clearly unisex. What were you saying? I, uh, heard from Miduo that your health has been a bit unstable these past few days. If she's not free to help you, you can call me anytime. You mean it? Yeah. Thank you. Then... You must accept this. Wait here. Excuse me. <sighs> Lei Ming, don't let her buy you off with a scarf. You have principles. Ming, remember your principles. Come on, go. Just say what you have to say. There's nothing to be shy about. Or is there? Sorry, Dr. Lei, I made you wait. Here, it's for you. I shouldn't let a lady spend money on me. Oh, come on, just take it. It's just, I... Just take it, here. There. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, uh, waiter. There's something I want to ask. Huh? What? Um, you know, Shaoliang has been staying at my place for a while now, and I want to know when he can move back to his own place. Oh, are you asking when I'm going to leave his place? Oh, no, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I just feel like Shaoliang's overstaying is welcome, and he's starting to get on my nerves. I want to kick him out soon. I don't want to drive you out at all, I swear. Since you know about Xiaoliang, me, Duo, and myself, I feel like I have nothing to hide from you. Dr. Lei, could you please do me a favor? Sure, what's that? Help me forget Xiaoliang. Oh, Monsieur, are you saying that you and me... You might not know this, but I'm quite the playboy. But you might have guessed from my looks. Dr. Li, I only want to know more about Miduo and Xiaoliang. The more I know about them, the easier I'll accept things. Oh. <laughs> I've actually been wondering, how did Miduo capture Xiaoliang? Uh, capture? Oh, well, I think Miduo was just persistent and shameless, that's it. But the most important thing of all is, uh, Miduo never relied on him too much. But when you say rely, 
Do you mean that she... It's simple. Just give Shoryan some space. Keep some distance from him. Don't keep him on a tight leash. Show him that you can be independent. That's all. Mm, I see. Oh, you do? I'm glad to be of help then. Uh, well, come on. All right. I made sense. I asked for you because I need an update about Chao Liang. He said he was going to get married. How come there's no news? Uh, Mr. Xiao has had other priorities of late. This might explain the lack of progress on that front. What could possibly matter more to a man than his own wedding? It would be better if he explains the matter to you personally, Chairman. My hair would be white well before he approaches me. Come, drive me to his place right now. Expected to happen to them. I hope I'm making myself clear. Don't worry. As long as Xiao Liang is happy, I won't get in the way. Well, that sounds great. But remember, you used to be his girlfriend. If you stay around him now, even as a friend, think of how that would look. And his fiance's peace of mind. Consider how she would feel after such a thing. I've already discussed this with Miduo. And she doesn't mind if Xiao Liang takes care of me for a while. Do you really believe that she doesn't mind this? She's just being considerate, so Xiao Liang isn't put in a tough spot, that's all. As for you, you should already know what you need to do in the name of decency. Mr. Xiao, I've lost everything I had. I beg you to at least let me stay by his side, so that I can be his friend if nothing else. I suppose, Yechi, that the difficult situation you're in is Zilyang's fault. All right, at least when you leave, I'll make sure you have enough money, even though you can't have Xiao Liang. At least you can still lead a decent life somewhere. I never wanted any money. Do as I say, all right? I'll allow that you stay a couple of days more. This is the exact same thing you did to me five years ago. 
微笑的好像就是在哭泣，在十二月被相识秘密。我帮你擦去那眼角的泪滴，却我难不到你的心底。和你在一起，每天都是好天气。六月的缠绵透露出我的心情。我提醒我自己，好朋友完美的距离，害怕终究要和你分离。知道你的心跳会特震动，而我一心上，只为你守候，就只言不留。但时间一切看得见，他，或许我们永远只是好朋友，而他是你选择幸福的人。是。